My name is Amana Hill, and I am a current undergraduate student. I'm Jessica Ivey, and I'm a mother. My name is David. I'm a resident of Framingham and also a member of GFCC. My name is Sydney Miller, and I am a second year medical student at Quinnipiac University School of Medicine. My name is Courtney Burrell, and I am a mother and an environmental health and safety manager for a pharma company. My name is Chris Reynolds, and I'm a recent college graduate. Young people can catch COVID-19. And even if you don't have adverse symptoms or end up hospitalized, you can still infect family members and friends who may be more at risk. There is no evidence that vaccines, or the COVID-19 vaccine in particular, causes infertility. The vaccine activates our immune response. Our immune system is what helps us fight off harmful viruses. The vaccine teaches our bodies to respond defensively with specific antibodies to that same virus if we are ever infected in the future so that we can more effectively fight it off. The clinical trials included a diverse body of people in terms of gender, ethnicity, age, and geographical areas. This was possible through partnering with different community stakeholders who encouraged various volunteers from diverse backgrounds to participate. According to the FDA, the authorized COVID-19 vaccines appear to be safe for people with common food or environmental allergies. Anyone receiving a COVID-19 vaccine should still be monitored on site. Yes, you should get the vaccine. You could contract the virus again if you had it before. Vaccination is a safer way to build up immunity as opposed to getting infected. If by a slim chance you do catch COVID while fully vaccinated, the vaccine may reduce your COVID-19 symptoms substantially. You cannot get COVID-19 from the vaccines. The Moderna and Pfizer vaccine, both mRNA, do not contain the live COVID-19 virus. The Johnson & Johnson vaccine is a viral vector vaccine which also does not contain the live virus. When vaccinated, people may feel uncomfortable for a few days. The symptoms we feel are actually caused by our immune systems when it's learning to fight the virus. This is a good thing. No. For the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines, the mRNA never enters the nucleus. For the Johnson & Johnson Janssen vaccine, the genetic material that is introduced by the viral vector does not mix with a person's DNA. No, mRNA vaccines are not experimental. While they are relatively new, these types of vaccines have been in development for decades. Scientists have used them to study other viruses such as the flu, Zika, and rabies. The Tuskegee syphilis study was absolutely horrible. There's been so much hurt and pain historically inflicted on the black community by medical institutions. However, this is not an experiment or study on black people. We are urging everyone of all races to get vaccinated for their own protection. In fact, it's so important that the black community and communities of color get vaccinated because statistics show these communities are hardest hit by COVID-19. Serious long-term health side effects are very unlikely, as is rare with any vaccination. So far, millions have received the COVID-19 vaccines without long-term side effects being an issue. For a population to reach herd immunity, a good amount of people would need to be vaccinated. Chances are there are many other people who think they do not need to get vaccinated because they will be protected by herd immunity. However, herd immunity only works if people are getting vaccinated. Please do your part. I got vaccinated. 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 Now it's time for you to get vaccinated.